now that we know that our Laravel application is up and running and we've actually installed it successful, we need to actually take care of some few things also. We need to actually structure the project folder to actually accommodate both the front end and the back end. So let's just go into our terminal and just terminate this uh, command. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to type code and full stop. So it's going to open the project in Virtual Studio Code, but I don't want to just open the back end folder. So I'm just going to go CD and go back one and just do it right now. Because I actually want to open the root folder for the back end. So uh, this is what I mean. So, so right now what we actually need to do is to uh, install some dependency that will let us manage projects. So what we need to do is to open up terminal and so we're going to do an init and what this is going to do is it's going to start up our project so it's going to ask us some basic uh, questions and i'm just going to call this market uh, version this is obviously version one description uh, building a shopping website okay so entry point in this yes so url um we have the url for the project uh if we should go over to um the repo that i showed you earlier so this is the url let's just copy that and go over to our watch us to do code and paste that author author is going to be me so let's just you know what and mit let's just press enter private no and you can see what happened here it's generated a composer.json file for us and this will help us track the um, dependency that we're about to install so the dependency we're about to install is called concurrent so let's just say concurrent um, npm and this concurrent let us run both front end and back end together at once so let's just go ahead and um, install that so um because i'm using yarn i can you can also use uh npm if you want to so i'm just going to um just say yarn add so let's just do that and let's just wait for us to uh like finish installing it won't take time uh and you can see that has already generated the node uh, modules folder and let's just wait for that to finish installed all right that's done installing and you can see the dependency has been added right here so the next nice thing we need to is to create our custom script and what this is going to do is it lets us run our back-end application and front-end application from the root application so let's just go ahead and um we will write those scripts so we're going to say um scripts okay and uh, this will be an object and we can then add the um uh, uh, the app so to the first one we want to do is to is a command that will let us uh, install the application so if you just clone in the app for the first time you're going to need to run this command to actually uh, probably install the dependency for the um, applications both the front end and the back end so we're going to say call current uh, concurrently and um, we need to actually be careful how we're going to do this so the first one we want to cd into the back end folder so we're just giving it some basic command so we want to cd into the back end uh, folder and just run this command Composer install. Okay, Composer install. And uh, this will be it. This will be it. And that's it. Once we get to the part where we're going to be installing the front end, we're actually going to add the front end commands to this. So, another thing we need to do is we need to actually create a command that will start the back end and the front end. So, for now, we're just going to be doing the front end we're just going to be doing the back end so that would be command uh, start and uh, we're still going to be using concurrently and um, 
like the way we did earlier so we're going to cd into backend and we're going to say and and, and this will be php at sun serve so even if, if you if you realize uh, earlier this is the command that we used to start our laravel application so this will be at the sun uh, yeah so i got the spelling correct <laughs> And um, I'm just going to make sure we did everything correct. So, so uh, we're going to say, so we're going to say start backend. If you want to start our backend separately, um, yeah. So let's just leave it for here now. So uh, let's just have it like that. So we have commands running, and now uh, we can now go ahead and actually use the script and see if they actually work. So the first one I want to do is I want to say yarn uh, start because this is the start command right here. So let's say yarn start and let's see if that actually works. So um, let's just wait for that. So you can see concurrently it's actually being run with CD into the backend folder and we have the PHP artisan command running. And yeah, so we have the backend server running right here on our local pc and we should go ahead and um, go into our laravel and refresh right now you can see uh, that uh, that should be working yes yeah, so uh, there, there is a particular error and this error is because we've not actually generated an app key so if you should go over to your Larva application and in your uh, env file you can see that we don't actually have the app key is actually set to empty what you can do is here you, right now is you can do uh, some random script uh, random keys and that we um, actually work but what is the what we can actually do is we can actually use a command to actually generate this key so if we should go ahead and just say um, cd into our backend folder and we can just say php artisan uh, key generate and this will actually go ahead and generate an app key for us so let's just see um, yeah you can see the key has been generated right here and basically this is all you need to do and we should refresh now and yeah so everything works perfectly now so um that's it so in the next video we we'll start writing our logic to actually make this application a reality so i'll see you in the next video guys